everyone. Happy Halloween. We've got some cool stuff for you today. Uh, my contacts are here, so glasses be gone. Finally, it only took seven weeks for me to get new contacts. But you're not here for this. You're here for the news. And we have some big stories for you today. Stories that I think uh, matter a great deal for the future of the Switch platform because it appears the Switch is about to get a bevy of third-party games, uh, like a oh, crap ton of them. We also now know who Nintendo partnered with for cloud streaming and the technology. And no, it's not Amazon. No, it's not Google. No, it's not Microsoft. It's a brand new company, actually. And Nintendo is kind of their flagship. So, hey, cool. Let's get into this by first off looking at Crash Bandicoot 4. Yes, folks, that game is coming back up. And here's why. So, as you can see here, uh, Crash Bandicoot 4 is about time uh, data has internal profile for Switch. So this game was already rumored to be coming to Switch before it came out, uh, especially with the Crash Insane trilogy. But it looks like if you dig through the INI file for Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time. Apparently it's been discovered that a Switch profile is hidden within. While it's possible that this could be leftover code from Unreal Engine 4, which was used to develop a game, YouTuber Canadian Guy A points out that we could see copied from Falcon multiple times in the code. Falcon was the project name of the Spyro Reignited trilogy, which is also on Switch and was made by Toys for Bob. In other words, some optimization code may have been borrowed for the base of Crash Bandicoot 4 on Switch. So, wouldn't be surprising to see this actually come to Switch since we did get the Insane Trilogy, we did get Spyro Reignited, and Crash 4 is, is as good as it kind of looks on uh, modern systems. It doesn't seem like the kind of game that is graphically impossible to really run well on Switch. So, yeah, I fully expect to see Crash Bandicoot 4, It's About Time, on Nintendo Switch. I, it kind of had disappointing sales, but maybe it's because everyone's just waiting for that Switch version. Uh, moving on, Resident Evil 3 Cloud version uh, was discovered here on Reset Era. Now, the images are all broken, but they do have it archived. Uh, this was discovered in the code base of uh, Control. So, Control recently came out through the cloud, uh, and inside the files was Resident Evil 3 Cloud version, this image. So, it appears that we're going to be getting RE3, uh, the, re the remade, the remastered one, uh, on Switch through the cloud. Speaking of the cloud, this is a big deal. Um, so if you look at this, uh, Ubitus partners with 505 Games to release Control Ultimate Edition. Who the heck is Ubitus? Uh, well, let's see here. Ubitus KK, here and after called Ubitus, is a leader in the cloud gaming space. It leverages its advanced cloud gaming technology, and in partnership with 505 Games, it released Remedy Entertainment's visually stunning action adventure title, Control Ultimate Edition, cloud version on Nintendo Switch. So Nintendo has partnered with Ubitus. Um, Control Ultimate Edition cloud version is the first game title. Ubitus simultaneously has distributed to multiple markets via the Nintendo eShop. Players in North America, Asia, Japan, Korea, and Hong Kong for now, and parts of Europe can start to enjoy the game by downloading a small activation program from the Nintendo eShop and immediately play Control Ultimate Edition Cloud version. Furthermore, players can seamlessly transition between TV or handheld mode according to his or her environment and select high-definition picture quality and enable realistic features such as ray tracing rendered by high-end GPUs in the cloud. No more worries of storage limitations and wait time for download, installation, or updates. Players can just turn on their Nintendo Switch, connect to the internet, select the game, and immediately enjoy the latest and greatest gameplay. We are extremely pleased to have the opportunity to work with a world-class game publisher such as 505 Games. We are thrilled to present this most recent mega title, Control Ultimate Edition Cloud version, to a global audience on Nintendo Switch, featuring the highest gameplay quality and performance, including ray tracing. We will continue our efforts to bring more and more exciting major titles to the cloud and share them with gamers around the world. Let me read that one more time. We will continue our efforts to bring more and more exciting major titles to the cloud and share them with gamers around the world. Yes, folks, they're doing more. Yes, we know Hitman 3 is coming. Now we have a good idea Resident Evil 3 is coming. I'm sure we're going to get RE7 as well. That's already running in the cloud in Japan. What if we get Assassin's Creed Valhalla? What if we start to get full AAA support on Switch? Imagine a future where there is full AAA support on Switch 
It's just through the cloud. Now, we talked about this before, about how Nintendo has found a way to compete with Next Gen without even releasing a new platform. And that is this partnership with, what, Ubitus? And, and, and working with this company that does streaming only and focusing on creating something unique. Now, obviously, I want there to be in the future, I want there to be a streaming service. I would like Nintendo and Ubitus to get together and figure out a way to make a subscription-based service. I think that's the best way to deliver these games. Right now, they're delivering them in the traditional way, uh, where you sell games on the eShop, and that's fine. Uh, you know, it's like 40 bucks for control. Uh, I get it. I understand what they're doing. This is what, you know, obviously Google Stadia was doing. I understand it. Uh, but at the same point, there's always going to be people that are going to have a hard time throwing down 40 to 60 bucks on brand new games uh, that are only available if the internet's working and you have a good internet connection. I happen to have great internet, but sometimes the internet's down. Sometimes I want to play my Switch outside of the house. And in cases like that, I won't really get to enjoy these games because we all know hotel Wi-Fi is not good enough. We all know, oh, oh, I mean, maybe I have a 5G phone now, so potentially tethering 5G to it might actually work out pretty well. But I don't know. It's it, it's kind of a thing right now uh, that is good. Like, even if you don't like cloud gaming, even if you don't like cloud gaming, an interview came out uh, on Nintendo Life where they talked to the people behind uh, control, the developer behind control, they came out and stated without the cloud, control on Switch is not possible. They said they, they, they put some early on asset work into it. They tried to see if control was a game that they could get the function on Switch. And the answer was no. They, of course, said, naturally, we'd like to have the game locally on the platform. It's just not possible. There's too many technical limitations. So, yeah, we got a cloud version. And what's brilliant about it is that now we can get every game. I don't want to hear excuses from EA anymore. I don't want to hear excuses from Activision, Ubisoft, anyone. After this year, starting in 2021, there is no reason every single AAA game is not on Switch, at least through the cloud. At least through the cloud. The barrier of entry to release your game on Switch is gone. You can release it through the cloud on Switch. So do it. Like, do it. I understand there's always going to be some issues here and there. Playing games like Madden Online uh, over this uh, is going to be really interesting. Uh, a Call of Duty game, multiplayer matches through this would be rather interesting, especially with input lag. But, again... We can find a way to make this work. If we are to believe cloud gaming is the future, which a lot of companies are thinking cloud gaming is the future, the Switch is the perfect test market for it because it's a platform that can't play a lot of these next-gen games that are coming. They can't. It just, it, it just, from a technical perspective, is not possible. So, we also have to look at, and I've talked about how before there was no excuse for third parties. You can dumb down your games enough to run on the tech, but... There is a point where you don't want to sacrifice the art of your game uh, to a, a, your visual style of the game to a point that's not pleasing to you. So I can understand decisions, again, not to dumb down your games enough to get them on Switch. And of course, I'm not advocating, guys, for cloud over local. We still need a Switch Pro. We still need a next-gen Switch. Having these more powerful platforms available is going to enable more games to be there locally. But I'm all for cloud filling in the barrier of entry for third-party triple a games i'm all for it it's never going to sell as well over the cloud as it would releasing a localized version so there's a lot of incentive to make localized playing on the platform versions of the games when and where possible the cloud doesn't replace that but the cloud does like literally take a sledgehammer to the wall Massive explosion and allow all of these amazing AAA experiences to be right there on the platform. I am so excited about the future of Switch now, even more than I already was. I'm so excited for Switch Pro and, 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 and new tech, and I'm excited for you know this cutting-edge technology that Nintendo's working on, which, by the way, cloud technology would be cutting-edge. Nintendo, believe it or not, if you look across all of the current platforms available, PlayStation 4, right? Xbox One, right? Nintendo Switch. Which one of them has cloud gaming right now? The Nintendo Switch. They're the first ones to introduce cloud gaming, and the Switch needs it more than the other platforms do. 
So, again, I'm really excited about this. I'm excited for the future of the Switch. I'm excited for the future of this partnership. Nintendo actually at the cutting edge frontier for once. When's the last time we could say Nintendo is on ball with emerging technologies? When's the last time we could say that? Nintendo hasn't been on ball with emerging technologies and online in forever. They're still not. The Nintendo Switch's online service is terrible. But they're on the frontier with the cloud. And you know what? Based on my time with control, it works. Sure, there's going to be issues. There were people that were having connection issues because too many people were trying to play the game at one time. It happens. That's something you deal with. But you know what? I think overall... This is going to keep growing and growing and growing and being more stable, more stable, and more stable. And we're going to reach a point where everything is on Switch, whether it's through the cloud or local or a combination of both, which is what's really going to happen. I am stoked, just stoked for what is going on with technology today, with the new AMD GPUs coming out and undercutting the 3090 with similar gaming performance or $500 less uh, with the 5000 series of, of their CPUs with whatever the hell Intel has cooking. Obviously, we already had the 3000 series GPUs kind of out in the wild. The 3070, by the way, is starting to look like a really great value card at 500 bucks. So I'm not f forgetting NVIDIA here. It's just AMD is trying to kick their ass at the top end, which, wow. Uh, obviously, with the Xbox Series X launching in 10 days, 10 days. PlayStation 5 in 12 days. Holy crap, we're on the verge of that as well? Guys, gaming is exciting again, for me anyways. Not that it wasn't exciting, but it's kind of been a drab in 2020, right? But now here we are, new technology coming out. I'm a huge tech guy. And Nintendo is on top of the ball with cloud gaming. Yes, they've experimented with it in Japan, but did anyone think that experiment went well? Apparently Thank you guys for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Rubble Dance from Nintendo Prime, and I'm ready for full-blown AAA gaming on Switch, one way or another. I'll catch you guys in the next video, and if you're watching this on the 31st, happy Halloween. Mr. Pumpkin back there has uh, been smirking at you this whole time.